Aloha. It's your favorite friend with questionable character. Aloha, Mr. Han. Coming to you on this Wednesday, May 26th, courtesy of our friends at From the 108. And of course, powered by Jack Daniels. Won't be having any today. Socks lose, socks lose, socks lose. Four to nothing. Uh, what can be said about this game? This one's on the offense. Uh, had plenty of opportunities to drive in runs, just couldn't do it. Uh, Carlos Rodon gets all the credit in the world. He gave up one hit, basically. Unfortunately, he went over the fence. Looked fantastic while doing it, but takes the hard luck L in this one. Sox, Sox offense just, like I said, couldn't get it done. I One thing I'm starting to question is whether or not the league has caught up to your mean Mercedes and whether or not your mean Mercedes can adjust to what the league is doing now. Uh, it's just, it's always been a matter of time before the league catches up to anyone, let alone your mean. So now it's up to your mean to adjust accordingly. Um, we'll see what happens. I mean, TA had the day off. Eaton leaves the game with a strained right hamstring, I think it was, and Kopech had a weird tumble on the mound at the end of the seventh inning, and, you know, I don't know if he hyperextended his knee or whatever it may be, but I just hope these guys aren't injured long term because they've, this team's had enough injuries. They don't need more, and they, quite frankly, don't have the depth to, to take a couple more hits like that. Uh, I'm starting to think that uh, Rick better start burning up the phone line sooner rather than later in trying to get some help on this roster uh, you know there's all these you know everyone's thinking oh Eloy made that video he may be, may be back sooner rather than later he's still going to need time to ramp up so it's not as soon as you think to be honest with you and Robert they said he didn't need surgery but he had no baseball activity for 12 to 16 weeks so he's going to need ramp up time as well so I think my hope is that Rick is burning up the phone lines trying to get some help for this team. Um, I know some people are upset about the bunt attempts uh, during the course of the game. I believe there were, I want to say, three sacrifices. I know a lot of people, how they feel about bunting, never do it. It's, you know, your win expectancy goes down and you could argue all that stuff. You know, I know people will tell you in a tie game in the bottom of the ninth with a runner on second, nobody out. Bunting lowers your win expectancy. I would think my win expectancy goes up if I have a runner at third with less than two outs, but that's just me. So, uh, you know, take it for what it's worth. Uh, I've seen games where I could think of a game Memorial Day weekend in 2016 in Kansas City where the Sox probably had a win expectancy of 99.7 going into the bottom of the ninth and they gave up eight runs and lost. So take that for what it's worth. But uh, like I said, no shot today. Um, uh, also, I am going to be leaving on vacation tomorrow. I will be partaking in, I will be performing on many golf courses, trying to look like a pro and probably doing a very bad job of it. But uh, so there will be no post game show. I will be at the Sox game Monday in Cleveland for the doubleheader. So I might do some live tweeting from there. And then hopefully we'll be back on Tuesday to entertain you and pass along my wit, wisdom, and knowledge okay whatever uh but hope everyone has a great holiday weekend stay safe out there and with that i am out of here bang